Hello, my name is Jamila McMallow and I'm a mindset coach for six and seven figure earning women corporate executives and established business owners. In this video today, I am talking to you about the number one issue when it comes to communication and your marriage to a good man. So what is it? Well, quite frankly, it is a fear of being vulnerable. It is a fear of being judged. It is a fear of feeling like a burden or like you're needy. And so the number one barrier to great communication in your relationship with your good husband is your fear. Okay. Now, where in the world did this fear come from? Well, yeah, you better believe it. The past, of course, in your childhood. If as a little girl, you were never allowed to express your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, if you were always told to be quiet, to stop crying, if no one was ever there to comfort you when you needed it, if you were made to feel like you needed to toughen, toughen up, stop being a crybaby, whatever, all of those things, if you got any kind of messaging around that, then how you interpreted that was my feelings and my emotions make other people uncomfortable and they're a burden. I've got to learn to deal with them myself and the way that I need to deal with them is to get rid of them. I need to stop feeling them because there's something bad. They create negative responses. When I show my emotions, when I share my feelings, I get negativity back, okay? Now, here you are, a grown woman, and you're in this relationship with this good man who you know, is trying to have healthy communication with you, and you're still holding back, and you're not being completely honest about how you are feeling about things because you're more concerned about trying to control his reactions or even what it is that you want him to think, feel, and believe about you. So first, let me put you at ease. You have no control, <laughs> zero control over what anybody thinks, feels, or believes about you even how they choose to react to you. Because there are situations to where you can show extreme kindness to a person and they still choose to react ridiculously, which is a choice that they made, right? Yes, you're always gonna show up and try to be respectful, et cetera, et cetera, courteous, but how a, uh, that individual receives you how they choose to respond is on them. That is their reaction. Those are their feelings. Those are their thoughts, their beliefs, their filters through which they're hearing your words. And you don't get a vote in that. You have no control over that. Have you ever talked to a person that no matter what you say, they take everything you say the wrong way? Or you feel like you're constantly having to explain yourself because... They just aren't getting it, and that's because they are getting it. They're getting the fact that they are committed to misunderstanding you and not hearing your words the way that you're saying them. They're committed to their opinion of you and how they choose to see you, and so that's the filter through which they take everything that you say, and that's how they hear everything. So my point in explaining all that to you is that what you say to your husband, you don't have any control over how he's gonna receive that, over how he's going to react to it. Your job is to trust him enough to open your heart to him and to trust yourself enough to know that if you don't get the reaction that perhaps you were hoping for or expecting, that you are gonna be okay. That it's not gonna be the end of the world. That you can give him the benefit of the doubt that you can take a little bit of time and see if you need to explain things in a different way so that he gets it and that he understands it. But your fear of being vulnerable, your fear of being judged, your fear of feeling like your emotions uh, and feelings are a gonna be a burden to him or are going to change how he feels about you is all 
on you. You don't need him to become, to do anything in order for you to do what it is that you need to do because your way of being has nothing to do with him. He could make you feel as safe as you have ever felt in your life. But unless and until you decide to trust that security, that safety, then you'll never open up to him. Okay? So your fear is the number one barrier to healthy communication in your relationship with your good man. Now, this is an area I absolutely help my clients to address when I work with them one-on-one -on -one and my married clients. And my married clients are women who are already married to a good man, but have some things that they need to work on personally in order to really show up in that marriage as a powerful co-creator of a life that thrills and excites them both. Becoming that, you know, head over heels in love couple, that power couple, whatever, however it is you want to see your relationship with your husband, you have to play your part and your role in that. It is not on him to change, to do anything else because you can't control him. The only person you can control and that you have power over is yourself. And so that's where you need to put your energy. And that's not to say he's perfect because he's not, none of us are. But in order for you to start contributing to healthy communication in your relationship, you're going to have to move past your fear. And the way that you do that is by addressing the underlying trauma, stories, and beliefs that are attached to that. Now, if that's something that you would like additional information on, or if that's something that you would like to understand a little bit more, I've actually put together a free audio training. It is the top three mistakes women make when marrying a good man. And I kind of do a deep dive on, like I said, the top three areas that you're really going to want to address if you want to start getting your marriage to a good man back on track or if you're single and you desire to be married to a good man, okay? So the link for that free audio training is below this video. So go ahead and click on that. And when you get over there, take the time to listen to it. I made it an audio so that you can listen to it on the go. And by all means, no matter which platform you're watching this video on, please like, subscribe, follow, etc. Leave a comment. Share this with a friend who you know needs to hear this. And I look forward to talking with you next time.